Hi guys, so I recorded this last night and I was like, I was watching it this morning and I was like, I am not myself. Like I was really tired, I was doing it at night and, and I was having a bad hair day. When I got my hair done, they took off like, I mean my hair is not this short, I have it in a ponytail, but uh, she butchered my the layers I had in my hair and I can still wear it down and everything. It just had a really awkward stage. So I needed to grow like two more inches because that's about how much she cut off. Um, they weren't going to do my hair if because they didn't, they wanted it all to match. Uh, I don't know. I'm just not going back to that place because I was chopped. But you know what the good thing is about hair is it grows back. So that's okay. Anyways, this is how it started, our, the Black Friday. I have never done Black Friday. Thursday, I was not feeling good. I got some news that I wasn't really expecting, so I fell asleep. And I fell asleep like at six o'clock at night, and I woke up at midnight. And um, I was on Facebook, and I was, my friend Randy, she, if you are on Facebook, then you know who she is. Okay, but anyways, she's a friend of mine who lives in the same town. And anyways, she was talking about her Black Friday experience and on her personal page or whatever. She doesn't do videos. But uh, right under her post, I saw that our mall was open at 1 o'clock. So at like 1 o'clock, I was like, Danny was asleep, but he wasn't really asleep, you know? Like... He had taken a nap kind of with me, if that makes any sense. And then I like woke him up and was like, do you want to go to the mall? It's open! And um, surprisingly, it wasn't like horribly packed or anything like that. It just, I don't know, there wasn't anything, it wasn't horribly packed. I'll just put it that way. So we went to um, a couple of stores there. We went to Air Spottle. And... I think that's all we walked out with uh, during that. And he got a coat, and then I got some things, uh, which I'll show you. Um, so this is, was an adventure, and I'll tell you why in just a moment. So um, let me get the bag here. Now everything's gonna be kind of random, like in order. Not in order, because like I didn't, like, some of the clothes in here are not from Aris Bottle, just so you know. I'll let you know which clothes are. Um, so this clothing item is from Aris Bottle and it was 60% off and it just says NY on it and it's just a cropped sweater so you can layer under it and that's what I would do because I don't want my tummy showing, you know what I'm saying? So. Originally, it's uh, 40 bucks for this shirt. And the thing that I find about Aris Bottle is they, they're really high priced, but they also uh, try and copy Victoria's Secret a little bit, and I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, so put that on the bed. Bonk. <laughs> and then another shirt I got at Aris Bottle in is is that how you say it, Aris Bottle? I don't know. Is this really pretty glittery tank, so I think that would be great for layering. You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty. And um, it's usually $22.50, 60% off of that. How I, I suck at math, so. Okay. Anything else that I got at Aris Bottle? No. Yes, it's what I'm wearing. So I'll show you what, what I mean when they are, they kind of copy a Victoria's Secret. Is, uh, let's see, it says Aris Bottle down there, but then it says, can you see, 1987, and Victoria's Secret says 1986. So I just thought it was funny, but I love, I like their clothing. When I worked at Starbucks, I always would get my uh, collared shirts there because we had to have a collared shirt and I like their clothes they're they're nice so while we were still in our current mall 
we did go to Hot Topic and Danny, their, their shirts were $10, their t-shirts. So Danny, he got a, what did he get? He got a t-shirt, um, a Halo t-shirt. <sighs> he plays video games and stuff. And I don't know. He likes that kind of stuff. I'm like, okay, whatever. But, you know, he finds like the cutest stuff for me, I swear. Like, if we were going shopping, he's like, oh my gosh, look at this. He's like, I think it would look really cute on you. And he knows I love Hello Kitty. So he found this shirt. And I think this shirt was not on sale, but they gave it to me for $10 anyways. So it's got Hello Kitty on the front. And then on the back is bows. How adorable is that? Is that so cute? I was like, oh, way cute. And so that was $10. So that was, ow. <laughs> that was all that we got at our current mall. And we, were, we, we got a coffee, we weren't tired, and we're like, let's go to Tri-Cities. And that's like an hour and a half away from where we live. And so we just got in the car and we just went. And our days totally got confused. Like, it was just weird shopping like in the middle of the night. We got there about 5 a.m. Well, we got there at 3, but we got lost because it was still dark and it was just the roads were weird. So we got lost a couple of times and we go there, you know, like four times a year. Okay, so we first off, I wanted to go to Victoria's Secret and Beth, Bath and Body Works. And, um, you know what, when I was at the Black Friday and everything, I did not personally see, like, a huge amount of sales. Like, I, last time I went to Tri-Cities, there was way better deals than there was during this Black Friday thing. And it's just a gimmick. To get you to shop you know get old stuff off the shelf put new stuff on so next year I probably won't do it unless someone wants to camp out for a 50 inch uh, uh, what is it TV for two hundred and eighty eight dollars which I wish that we could have got a hold of <laughs> but we didn't go to Kmart and we didn't stand in line I'm sure those were gone like that so and I have anxiety as it is so I just didn't want to deal with it. So when we got to the Kennewick Mall, people were like hoarding JC Pennies. And I'm just like, whatever, you know, we have a JC Pennies. Let's move on to Bath and Body Works. So they were having a sale, their typical sale, you know, buy six soaps, $20. And then they also had a sale where you can buy three like lotions, sprays and things like that and get three free. But when I got to the register and they rang all that up, it was like 90 bucks. So I pa we passed on like the lotions and body sprays and we just got soaps because we actually, you know, use those and you know, not that we don't use like the lotions and stuff, but you know what I mean? It's just, <clears throat> I wasn't gonna spend a hundred dollars on Bath and Body Works, sorry. So the first uh, one that I picked out was Cranberry Tangerine and it smells good. Like all of their stuff smells good. Um, and the other one was Cucumber Melon, which is their signature scent. Um, this one I thought smelled really good. Winter Cranberry. It smells good. <clears throat> and these soaps last like a really long time for us. Um, and these are Coconut Lime. Verbe Ver Verbena? I don't know. Coconut Lime. I've always liked that smell. And then, um, warm vanilla sugar. I had to get, you know, some fall winter scents. So, so at Victoria's Secret, <clears throat> their sale was not all that impressive either. It was buy five pair of panties and get uh, them for $26. Last time I went, it was seven for 26. So it's like, it wasn't that great of a deal. So I actually paid full price for this shirt, but I love it and it is so warm. And it's amazing, and uh, I paid way too much for this shirt. 
I'm not even gonna go and say how much it was. Um, but it is so comfortable. The inside is just absolutely wonderful. Oh, I love this sweater. It is cute. It kind of goes off the shoulder a little bit, but not too much. It's a scoop neck, and it just goes really cute with leggings. I wore this yesterday when me and Danny went to the mall. Again, we just like to go to the mall and get coffee and walk around, so that's a good thing. <clears throat> and I had to get my nails done because I had to make them. If you bought like $65 worth of stuff, you got a free tote bag with stuff in it. And then, you know, I I just got like a thing of undies. And then, because I actually was comparing the underwear to other stores and like they're actually really good quality. I really like their undies. So anyways, that $65 or however much it was, you got this really cute tote bag and you know what I'm a sucker when it comes to this kind of stuff like I don't know but it says Victoria's Secret on it and it has like you know the sparklies but what I like about it is it has like little holders in there so I think that this will be like a good gym bag but it also came with products inside which I thought was pretty nifty but I mean it's not like a whole ton of products, but I really like this, and it's the Tees. Um, it just smells sexy and good. Oh my gosh. I want the whole bottle. It smells so delicious. I can, and then it comes with like um, a pretty lip gloss and the soap and like sample of a perfume called seduction okay so my Mac counter where I live they told me that they no longer sell st. Germain st. Germain was just a limited edition product and it only comes out like never she said that it's just gone and she it was the manager and I was like mm. so anyways sorry about that I had to find the a lip gloss okay so I went to the Mac counter in Kennewick and right there I saw st. Germain and she said it's in the permanent collection and I was like oh really <laughs> I was told otherwise and she's like no it's always been here so I was like okay so I got st. Germain and it is which I'm wearing on my lips right now straight up 1980 Barbie mm. you know what I mean she always had that Barbie like in 1980 she had this lip and blue eyeshadow with a little pink cute but uh, a limited edition that I thought was kind of unique was snob uh, lip glass and it's a color I actually do not have and it's really pretty over the uh, St. Germain. Anyway, she suckered me into getting it. I was like, oh, I'll throw it in there too. Um, I don't know. So that's what I got at MAC. I really didn't buy any cosmetics. Okay, so we did go to the JCPenney's afterwards it was we've only been together for down only only we've been together for two years and um, it's something that we've wanted to get but we just never did and I went there to grab a crock pot and I got like the last one it's, it looked like anyways and I look on it's $25 and I'm like that doesn't seem like a very good price so, and I didn't want to stand in line for like an hour. Like people literally had little stuff in their hands, nothing really huge. I'm like, why, why are you standing in line for a pair of dollar socks? Um, I don't know. It was just weird. Like, I guess it's because it was my first experience, like watching madness happen while shopping. Anyways, 
So we did get a crock pot. We went to Target and they had the exact same one for $19. And the one at JCPenney's, yeah, like I said, was 25. So this was 19 at Target and it's a six quart and it feeds seven and it has a travel lid. How exciting. Like really you can make so much stuff out of crock pots. While we were at Tar 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 Target, gosh, spit it out. Um well poo. Okay. What did I just do? So while we were at Target, um I got a Clarence item, which is a really pretty high-waisted skirt with a pretty gold backing and it's lace. And I don't know if you can really see the lace or not, but it's really pretty and I got it for $9, usually uh, 20 And it's a size small. That's only because I have like a small waist. That's the only reason why. Um, then I got this really cute hair bow, which I thought it was on Clarence too. It's really cute. It's like purple and lace and it has a little ponytail thing and a little clippy thing. So I'm going to be wearing my hair up a lot so I can just stick that back there so it doesn't look like I'm just clipping my hair in weird little clips, you know? And then I came across these awesome, amazing, these were, <laughs> these were not on sale, but there was like a whole rack of them saying that they were 50% off. And I'm like, I ain't not paying full, full price. So anyways, they're originally $12 and I talked my way into getting them for six. And look at that, they've got sparkle to them. Ah! I thought they were really, really cute. Then Danny got a jacket and a scarf. Really, really nice. It just puts him together. So we went to Burlington Coat Factory and I found this nifty thing, which was only a few dollars. I really need it. I'm so unorganized, you guys, not even funny. But it comes with pockets on both sides. I did get a pair of earrings like they were 98 cents and look at these crazy wild ones spikes so 98 cents and it has two sides okay so while we're at Burlington Coat Factory Danny got a really nice scarf for like five bucks it looks sharp it's like Plaid. I don't have it because I think he's wearing it now. Um, ah, my eye. But I got a scarf. This is like my very first scarf ever. <laughs> it's such a cool color. It was seven dollars. I don't know, and I think it's it's an infinity scarf. I think. Uh, I don't know the brand of it, but. I don't even know how to wear a scarf. Just wrap it around. I don't know. I guess it makes things look cuter. But it doesn't match my my lipstick. <laughs> so Oh, I have so much organizing to do. Anyways. So Danny found a set, a baby fat set. Came with a Ooh, there it is a beanie which is nice because this is so warm I actually wore it this morning when I went out to go get um, some coffee and it's so funny because I was wearing like the same outfit as I was wearing like last night and it was the same girl who was working and I felt like totally embarrassed because <laughs> I just threw something on and she's like um, I remember you from last night I'm like Ugh. <laughs> I'm wearing the same clothes gross but whatever um, and then it came with this gorgeous warm scarf, like so warm and uh, 
where is the kitty cat? And it came with gloves too, but they're, they're just black. It was so funny because Danny's like, look at that nice kitty, but he said the P word. And I was like, what? I turned around and I saw this. <laughs> Anyways, that's my Black Friday first Black Friday haul. I think that I'm gonna skip next year because honestly, there was not that great of um, sales going on. And but what I really did enjoy was spending time with Danny, and it was just a fun experience to just do something out of the whim and just go. And if you can ever do that with your spouse, your partner, whoever, um, just do it. You know, it's so much fun. Just, just do something, just on a whim, and it, it's great. So, we got home at we started at at like a little bit after midnight on Thursday. Wait, it was Friday, and then we went all the way into Friday to the daytime to like we stopped shopping around um, noon and got home. Uh, actually, I was so tired. It was actually around 10 or 11 that we got home. Or not that we left and I got home at one. So yeah, anyways, it was just a lot of fun. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little haul. Um, I do have a makeup tutorial coming up. It's not this one because I just threw some makeup on. Um, it's the Knock on Wood palette. Um, I did get a request to do that, so, uh, I have it recorded. I hope it turns out okay. I don't know. I'm, I'm working on tutorials, you know what I'm saying? Because, why am I whispering? <laughs> I'm working on tutorials. Okay, so I want to thank all of the subscribers who have subscribed over the holidays, and for everyone who has been awesome loyal watchers. I am doing a special giveaway on my Facebook page that's exclusive to Facebook so if you want to come over there and join me go right on ahead I'll leave the link or I'll leave an annotation. I'm not I'm still new at learning the annotation thing um, but I'll leave everything in the down bar. I'll leave everything what I'm wearing on my face. Um, it's funny because I feel like the lights kind of wash my makeup out so I put a little bit more on than I normally would. <sighs> it's interesting. But anyways, uh, thank you everyone, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Mwah.